In Luke 15, verses 8 through 10, Jesus tells this parable. He says, suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp and sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, rejoice with me. I have found my lost coin. In the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God over even one sinner who repents. This is the least known of three parables that Jesus tells in Luke 15, the lost sheep, the lost coin, and the lost son. And they each tell a very similar story about people who are lost from God being found by him. And in each of these stories, we see that the lost people are pictured as something very valuable in that time, a coin, a sheep, a son. And also in each case, there is rejoicing in heaven when people who are far from God come back to him. These parables illustrate not only God's great love for people, but also the fact that he is constantly, actively reaching out to people, hoping that they will respond. And we see in each of these parables that God receives those lost people back with grace, with love, with forgiveness, even with celebration. And so there are a couple of key things that I want to lift up this morning about all of this. And the first is, I hope that this parable reminds you of just how much God loves you of how valuable you are to him, of how much he really wants you. And if you're feeling distant from God, if you're feeling lost from him, I especially want to remind you of this and also of the fact that God is really longing to be close with you. Second, I think that we can really see God's heart for lost people here in this parable and these others in Luke 15. Jesus tells three stories in a row to really drive that point home to us of, of God's heart for lost people. And in that, I think we need to understand that Jesus wants for us to have a heart for lost people too. Here at Orchard, we talk a lot about the fact that the faith Jesus calls us to is never just about us. It's always about others. It's about how we treat other people. It's about how we serve other people. It's about how we care for others. And Jesus' desire really is that when we come to know just how much God loves and wants us, despite our sin, despite our flaws and shortcomings, and, and when we come to understand what an amazing, life-changing, and joyful thing that that is, I think Jesus hopes that we would come to have a heart for others who haven't experienced that yet, for people who are lost from God, and that we would seek to be a part of helping those people to be found. In another place in the Bible, Jesus calls us to be light in this world, really to reflect his light. And it's a part of that call. It's a call for us to light the way for people in the way that we act, in the things that we do, in the way that we treat other people, in the things that we say. Being light is also a call for us to very humbly and very gently at times speak words of hope and faith and truth into people's lives in places where those words fit and in moments when we see an openness to, to speak those words. It's also a call for us to invite others to church. This is really one of the most effective and powerful things that we can do. And the reason is that we know the church is Jesus' body. And so because of that, we know that Jesus it was, is at work in special ways there in the church. So remember that God has a heart for lost people for you, for me, for everyone. And may we also be people with hearts for lost people too.